The Johnny vs. Amber trial took social media and Hollywood by storm last year. Everyone was divided, millions of people watched the trial live, and of course people want to capitalize on that, so Netflix has decided to put out a documentary that is getting utterly destroyed by both critics and users who are saying it is an abomination of a series. I have a few different things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content that I create, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media so you can see when my content is posted, and of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and live streams I create, consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon or a supporter via YouTube memberships. Now, I wanted to primarily show off the Rotten Tomatoes page because, as you can see, Depp vs. Herd is currently sitting at some very, very low scores. Now, it says Season 1, but they were only ever planning to make this a miniseries. I don't even really see a way that they could continue this unless they decided to get interviews from both Depp and of course heard. I don't think they're going to do that though. The whole point of creating this, at least from what we heard, was there was no bias, right? They weren't taking sides. They were simply showing side-by-side -side testimonies and information, but at the same time, you can very clearly see when you start watching this that it does sway towards Amber. They definitely try to defend her more than they defend Depp because their whole thing is social media in this, uh, they take clips from people who live stream the trial, people who talked about it on TikTok and Twitter and just social media in general. And of course, many more people on social media were seemingly defending Johnny. So of course, this doesn't really paint a positive light for Johnny. It is just all Amber, poor woman, poor woman. She went through so much. I mean, they are saying that Johnny got more sympathy because social Social media backed him because he's a renowned actor who had millions of fans to support him but oh poor Amber had no one and it was so unfair even when they talk about the fact that the cameras were in the courtroom oh Amber never wanted that it was Johnny who wanted to make it public it's always men bad Johnny bad and I seems that people are sick and tired of that. People were not happy with this docu-series because it's currently sitting at a 29% critic and a 13% audience. So I'm actually pretty shocked that it's only at a 29% critic because, of course, these are people who shill for these larger companies and streaming services. And I figured that they would have eaten this up because the media did heavily defend Amber when the trial was going on. But funny enough, this has been out for about a week at this point and it only just got this audience score there were not enough reviews to even have a score until now and it's only got right over 100 ratings but it's sitting at a measly 13 percent a 1.3 out of 5 a average rating and this is honestly what i would give it i watched this simply to see if they truly were neutral if they were not biased going into it and of course they were People are not holding back. I mean, as you can see, most of these reviews are half stars to one stars. This was just as bad as Netflix's Cleopatra. Watching the trial was interesting. This documentary doesn't add anything new to the topic. Total waste of time and resources. Yeah, if you did not look at social media at all while this was going on, maybe you would find it informative. But if you have already seen, you know, fan edits, YouTube edits, uh, you're gonna know every Thing that already happened in this. Extremely biased, Cherry picked testimony statements and used editing and music to paint a villain and a victim. By no means objective. Completely missed the point. The trial was about credibility, not social media. But that's what they made it about because, again, they were biased in this. Horribly biased towards Amber. Awful. It's like watching a train wreck. If I could give it less, I would. Only liars act like no one does or could ever really know the truth. But I wanted to uh, read part of this Hollywood Reporter article because you're gonna find out very quickly that the media is still defending Amber. It says Emma Cooper's three-part Netflix series, Depp vs. Heard, arriving over a year after 
after the defamation trial reached its exhausting conclusion is the documentary equivalent of one of those aggregated first reaction articles. Using social media responses from the trial, along with pool footage of courtroom testimony, Cooper is able to give an overview of what may or may not have been the first TikTok trial to capture the sloppiness of the legal process and the spectacular biases of online sentiment. It is funny that they try to say, oh, Johnny, oh, poor Amber, because Johnny had so much social media uh, attention and people on social media were biased when they took a complete extreme bias, but in the other direction. It says for viewers coming out of a 10-year coma, Depp versus Hurt is sure to be vaguely enlightening and disheartening, but otherwise it's hard to know who the ideal audience would be. They also go on to say, with Depp versus Hurt, Cooper and her editor's grand structural gesture is to put Depp and Hurt's testimony side by side so we get each of their respective takes on the now notorious incidents like the poop in the bed and the fingertip in the airplane fight. Cooper isn't a reporter here and so Depp versus versus Heard isn't going to tell us anything more about the case than we already knew coming in, which is very true. There was nothing new here, and again, one of the major issues with that is they didn't interview anybody. They just took social media footage and put you know, trial footage and things people said on social media side by side and acted like that was going to with win them awards and get them so much more attention, which of course it didn't. But now, a year after the fact, we can clearly see what people think about this trial and these two actors, and people are definitely on Johnny's side. People haven't really heard much about Amber because, of course, she left Hollywood. She left the United States, went to Spain, and she hasn't been doing anything else. And the Probably only next time that we're really going to hear much about her is when they finally decide to release Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. I do not think that they are going to have her doing PR rounds for this film because I do think they know how toxic she is to this project and really any projects in general. Um, I'm sure that they'll have her maybe in like an interview or two for the movie, but that's probably going to be about it. And when it comes to Johnny, we know that he is going to be in the upcoming French film where he plays Louis the Fifteenth. We do know they are trying to secure a United States release date for that, maybe by the end of 2023, early 2024. Um, and but yeah, I mean he's not willing to work with Warner Brothers again or Disney again, which I completely understand. They both screwed him over royally, and we haven't heard about any other upcoming projects that he's going to be in, but. Amber went into hiding, she left the internet, she left Hollywood, and Johnny is still here. Johnny is still kicking, and I do think that we are going to see him in some, you know, larger roles in the future, because I do think it's inevitable. I don't think that Hollywood is going to be able to ignore him forever especially now that Amber is going to be gone. But yeah, I mean, this trial did take social media by storm, so I understand why Netflix did try to make this docu-series, but unfortunately, they did it in the worst way possible. If you haven't already seen this, I highly suggest you stay away from it because it is a complete waste of time. But as you can see, Netflix is getting absolutely destroyed over this Depp versus her docu-series, and I think that they deserve it. They've show us nothing new. They have no interviews. It is a complete and utter waste of time. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.